What up, everybody? This is your man, 7 Seal 7 gtv All right, so I got another PS4. That's right, PS4. And uh, I got the one that has, like, it's all black, just like jet black, so to speak, matte. It, well, I don't know if it's matte or what, but it doesn't have the shiny side of it. So I went to the pawn shop, did the exchange. For you guys who are following me on that, you guys already know. I traded in the Xbox, got another PS4 again. But anyways, Infinite Warfare, I'm ready for you. Uh, Battlefield as well. So, uh, 4.0 software update, Sony PlayStation 4 giving me issues. I was trying to do everything after trying to do a reset and re-default. And you know when you buy a used PS4, it, it, if that PS4 has been activated, <laughs> you, you're not going to disactivate it. You have to delete everything, clear it out as best as you can, create a separate profile, and that's just the way it is for used PS4s. It's just the way it is, right? So, anyways... um. I went to do the update, 4.0 for the system software update, and it would download, and then it would turn on, and then it will go into the, to start installing it, and it would not turn back on. I'm like, hmm, tried it a few times, I'm like, okay, it usually should turn back on in order to install the 4.0 update that's been recently put out a couple of weeks plus ago already, and uh, so I went on, started trying to figure out a, a, a few different things, and I went on to, the for, to some forums, and... I uh, saw a PlayStation form or something like that. And a bunch of people had different ideas. Change the outlet, change that, change this. So what I did to actually work, and this might work for you. Hopefully it does. I happened, just out of curiosity, took out the outlet that I had plugged into an adapter. And see, it's working right now. You guys can see it. See, it's already installed. There we go. Bam. Yeah, see that? I don't know who this guy is right here, but whatever. I need, I need to get into a new user. Unless I could try to deactivate the guy, but I'm going to try to deactivate it. But what happened is this. I installed it through safe mode. That's right, safe mode. All you got to do is turn off your PS4, hold your finger on the power for about three seconds, well, wait for the second beep, and it'll say safe mode, install the software through the safe mode, and it did the trick, had no issues, and I'm about to get in right now. So I just forgot to share something with you. I was seeing a bunch of people even still putting comments in, help, 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 as of yesterday. And we're in the middle of September, so I figured I'd just see there's people out there who don't have any or have any issues and they don't know what to do. That's what I did, and it worked perfectly. Try it out. See what you guys think. Switch outlets to a hard uh, outlet versus an adapter and do safe mode install and then swap back the outlets and you're good to go. I'm out of here, man. Take care. God bless. Jesus loves you. Peace, love, and salute. Woo!